Hello, it's Shi Hao Chen from University of Science and Technology of China. Here, I'd like to introduce our work: Degradation Agnostic Correspondence from Resolution Asymmetric Stereo. The emerging tele-wide camera systems have become the most popular configuration in smartphones. It enables a number of desirable applications, such as binocular depth estimation, continuous optical zoom, and image quality enhancement. For these applications, correspondence estimation from resolution asymmetric stereo images is a key step. Due to the difficulty of obtaining ground truth disparity labels in diverse real-world systems, we start from an unsupervised learning perspective. In unsupervised learning, given two views, a stereo matching network takes them as input and outputs a disparity map. The disparity map is used to warp right view to left. Then, a photometric loss is adopted to train the network. This unsupervised scheme is based on the assumption of photometric consistency. It means that the corresponding pixels in two views, which record the light rays emitted from the same scene point, should have the same intensity or color. However, this assumption is violated in resolution asymmetric stereo since two views have different resolutions. We name it the photometric inconsistency. Intuitively, resolution asymmetry may challenge unsupervised stereo matching twofold. First, it may be more difficult for the feature extractor to extract symmetric features from asymmetric inputs. Second, the photometric loss may lose efficacy since photometric consistency does not hold for asymmetric stereo. We conduct a series of experiments to verify the influence of these two factors. We find that, for resolution asymmetric stereo matching, the asymmetry during loss computation has a dominant influence rather than the asymmetry of inputs. Given the results above, we propose to conquer the challenge of asymmetric loss from a new perspective: feature metric consistency. To establish such consistency, a degradation agnostic and matching specific feature space is desirable. Since a degradation agnostic space could encourage correct alignments, while a matching specific space could penalize incorrect matchings, let us recall the previous conclusion: the asymmetry of inputs has a minor influence on asymmetric stereo matching. It reveals that the feature extractor of a stereo matching network performs well in extracting symmetric features from the asymmetric input. Therefore, we adopt the feature extractor to approach the desirable feature space. With the feature extractor, we compute a feature metric loss to optimize the network. Specifically, after obtaining the warped left view with disparity, the feature extractor is used to project the original and warped left view images to the feature space, producing features FL and warped FL. Since the original FL should be well reconstructed by the warped FL if the disparity is estimated accurately, we formulate the feature metric loss with the reconstruction error. Intuitively. When the network is trained by a more accurate loss, the corresponding feature extractor extracts better features, which can be utilized to strengthen the feature metric consistency and formulate a better feature metric loss. To this end, we propose a self-boosting strategy to progressively boost the network. Specifically, we first use photometric loss to train a stereo matching network phi zero. Then its feature extractor formulates a feature metric loss LFM zero, which is utilized to fine tune a stereo matching network phi one. Note that phi one is initialized as phi zero. After fine tuning, a boosted feature extractor formulates a better feature metric loss LFM one, which is utilized in the next training stage. Following this way, we iteratively fine tune phi k with the progressively boosted LFM k minus one. Therefore, with this self-boosting strategy, we can obtain continuously optimized networks with progressively strengthened feature metric consistency. To validate the effectiveness of our method, we simulate resolution asymmetry in different datasets. Two metrics are evaluated. Compared with methods that do not assume specific degradations, our method has a distinct advantage on all datasets. Compared with super-resolution methods that assume specific degradations, our method has better performance in most cases. Moreover, when the actual degradations are inconsistent with their assumptions, our method notably surpasses them. To validate the performance of our method in real-world systems, we collect a resolution asymmetric stereo dataset with a Huawei P30 smartphone. We could see that our method presents the best visual quality. Thanks for your listening.